Okay, let's take a look at how we can extend themes. So there's a variety of ways you can do this or define that, but basically I encourage you to go through and fool around with all the different stuff and see how it works for you. We'll just take a look at one good example um, as a jumping off point. So in the screens area here, I'm going to click on project theme. We'll take a look at an example that we noticed earlier while we were looking at some uh, uh, samples when we were editing the uh, theme screens. So we've got the CD-ROM theme here, and I'm going to go ahead and press edit. Now if you'll recall earlier when we were editing this, um, I had turned off the uh, separator in the footer and it worked really good for one screen but not for another. So let's take a look at that problem here. So let's turn on the fill footer, let's go ahead and put in a body image, and then let's go ahead and get rid of these separators. Now basically what that did was it gave me a, a really great look that I loved for this screen as well for this screen but what it did was it kind of messed up this screen because you see we don't have that bottom separator. So let's take a look at how we can extend our theme within our project so that it can meet our needs for all of these screens. Okay, so we'll leave our theme like this. We've got our selections made. I'm actually going to go here and move this, this text down a little bit in the top screen. Um, not, not too much. Say something like about that. But looks kind of nice. And in the no banner screen, let's go ahead and do the same thing. The text is kind of packed up to the top there now. So let's go ahead and move this down to say somewhere around there. And there we go. This is a theme I really like. We've got our no no uh, um, banner screen, our side banner screen, and our top banner screen. Okay. Now the only problem that we've got of course is the missing footer separator here in the side banner version. So that's not going to work. It looks kind of weird, right? Because of the side image. So let's go ahead and press OK. We'll come out of here and we'll take a look at how we can extend that right in our project. So we've got that theme now applied to our project. Now let's take a look at our screens. We'll go into the before installing area by clicking on that link underneath the screens area and we'll take a look at what we've got. Now these are the screens that we have in our installer. As you can see it works really good except for the welcome screen. Let's go ahead and look at our welcome screen. We'll go ahead and click on the edit button with the welcome screen selected and I'm going to maximize our screen properties window. Our text is okay. Our attributes are alright. This is where we want to go, is to our style tab. We'll go ahead and click the override project theme and then we'll activate the footer separator by turning it to true. And as you can see here now when we go back by pressing OK to our screens area here and we look through our screens, now they're all good. That problem is taken care of and yet our greater theme is actually still the way that we want it to. For example, we don't have that footer separator here in these screens such as the user information and select install folder. So it gives you kind of a nice open look. It's kind of a, a nice open feel that you might use to promote, uh, you know, for example, um, some type of a funner product, something less corporate, for example. So that's how we would actually extend this theme to work within a project. So this is just one example of how we extend a theme by um, customizing it within the the screens area here. Now when I use the word extend, um, I basically use that to define any time that you, you apply some type of an edit to your theme that leverages some type of a change for your product. So, so if you're going to be uh, using these themes, for example, um, it, I encourage you to go in there and just experiment with them, tweak everything, move things around, you know, try and see what you can come up with. In the themes screen here, you'll notice that there's a save as button. You can always go ahead and click that anytime you want to create a new version of any of the project themes. So that way you can go ahead and create edits on that new version without worrying about uh, destroying the original version. And of course you can always reinstall Setup Factory anytime you need to get back your original themes. So that's uh, extending themes. That's one example anyhow. Let's go ahead and take a look at a chapter summary and where we can get some more themes for Setup Factory.